Welcome to Golden Software's demonstration video for Digger 5, Part 1. Digger is a digitizing and coordinate conversion software package. This video is a brief introduction to the user interface in Digger 5. I will not attempt to go over all the features, but I will try to cover the most important ones. I will start with a sample file called Botswana to make it easier to explain some of the features in Digger. To open a file, click File, Open, and navigate to the Samples folder in the Digger 5 installation directory. Select Botswana.pjt and click Open. When you first open Digger, the main plot window is displayed in the center of the screen. Three managers are open on the left side of the screen. The Layer Manager, the Coordinate Manager, and the Property Manager. And one manager, the Data Manager, is open across the bottom of the screen. The plot window is where all the objects in your Digger project are displayed. You can see points, polygons, polylines, imported images, text, etc. You can do all your selecting directly within the plot window. The four managers in Digger can be opened and closed by going to View, Toolbars Managers in the menu bar. If there is a check mark next to the manager name, this means the manager is open. If there is no check mark, this means the manager is closed. You can open and close a manager by clicking on its name. The Layer Manager allows you to organize all your objects in your Digger project by separating components of your project into different layers. For example, you could digitize or import all the city locations in one layer, roads on another layer, and rivers and lakes on a third layer. Layers allow tremendous flexibility in what information you can include in your Digger project and what information you can display in the plot window. Having the Layer Manager to the side of the plot window makes accessing layers simple and easy. You can turn layers on and off by clicking on the yellow light bulb next to each layer in the Layer Manager. Everything you import or digitize will be imported or digitized onto the active layer. The active layer is denoted by the red triangle to the left of the layer name. In this case, the active layer is called Game Reserves. To change the active layer, simply click on the layer you want to become active. To add, delete, rename, replicate, select all items on a layer, simply right-click in the Layer Manager and choose the command from the menu. Alternatively, you can also click on the tool icons at the top of the Layer Manager toolbar. The layers are all listed in the Layer Manager in the order they are drawn on the screen. For example, all objects contained in the lower layers, such as pans, deltas, are drawn underneath the objects contained in all the upper layers, such as game reserves or national parks. If you want to change the order of the layers, simply click and drag a layer to its new position. You can choose to make individual layers visible or invisible. A yellow light bulb icon means the layer is visible. A gray light bulb icon means it's invisible. For example, click the light bulb next to the layer titled Cities to remove the cities from view. This allows you to create maps that display many different combinations of layers. You can have all the information you want in one project file, but you can still make many different maps, emphasizing exactly what you want by turning the visibility of different layers on and off. You can also choose to set a layer to be locked or unlocked. If you have a layer exactly the way you want it and you don't want to accidentally move or delete anything, just click Lock the Layer and you will not be able to select anything on that layer. A closed lock icon means the layer is locked and cannot be edited. An open lock icon means the layer is unlocked and can be edited. Click on the Coordinate Manager tab to activate the Coordinate Manager. Select an object in the plot window and the Coordinate Manager will display all the coordinates of the vertices of the object that is selected in the Data Manager. For now, select the Mac Gaddick Gaddy Salt Pans object by clicking on it in the Data Manager. You can edit the coordinates of any vertex point by double clicking in any cell in the Coordinate Manager and typing in a new value. When you select a vertex in the Coordinate Manager, the selected vertex will show up as a green dot on the point, polyline, or polygon in the plot window. If you choose a different vertex point in the Coordinate Manager, the green dot will move to highlight the newly selected vertex. Being able to find and change the coordinates of a particular vertex makes it easy if you want to plot a point, polyline, or polygon in an exact location. The Property Manager lists all of the available properties you can change for a selected object. Depending on the type of object you select, the list of properties could change. You can change all the properties for the object directly within the Property Manager and see the changes immediately on the screen. For example, I will change the line color for the outline of Botswana from yellow to blue by expanding the Line property section, click on the color, and choose blue from the drop-down menu. Once I select the blue color, you can see that the line in the plot window has immediately updated to blue. The Data Manager lists all the objects in the Digger project and gives you information about each object, such as ID information, 
what layer they are on, the point count, perimeter length, the area if the object is a polygon, and the direction if it is a polyline or polygon. You can change the ID information of an object by double-clicking in the cell and typing in the new value. The objects in the Data Manager are arranged by drawing order, so the items at the bottom of the Data Manager are drawn behind or underneath the items at the top of the Data Manager. All four managers can be easily moved or dragged to new locations. Click and hold on the title bar of the manager and drag it to where you want the manager to be placed. The docking location options are shown by semi-transparent locations on the screen. Move your cursor over one of the docking buttons and the new manager location will be shown by a blue shaded area. If that is where you want the manager to be located, release the mouse button. If not, move your cursor to a different location. Release the mouse button when the manager is in the location you want. To create floating toolbars, double-click on the title bar of the toolbar to undock it from the menu bar. You can then drag the toolbar to any location within the Digger window. To dock the toolbar, double-click on the title bar of the toolbar page or drag the toolbar until the cursor is over one of the predefined docking locations. If you would like to reset your view in Digger, click the View, Reset Windows command. This will return the managers and the toolbars to their default locations. You will need to restart Digger for the changes to take effect. This concludes the introduction to Digger 5. If you have any questions, please contact Golden Software.